Welcome back to Selenix Crypto and in this video we'll talk about three new cryptos coming out in the first quarter of 2023. Uh, these are cryptos that I think have potential both on the short term and long term and what we'll do is we'll kind of talk about the token sales or how you can participate uh, briefly, very briefly, what the project is. I don't want to uh, waste too much of your time even though I would consider it uh, as not wasting. Uh, and then I'll, I'll give you my opinion on whether you should buy it or not. Whether you value that opinion or not, that's up to you. Uh, but for now, let's get right into it. All right, welcome back. So as most of you know, if you follow my ICO pre-sale IDO videos, which uh, I post more and more. So if you're interested in that, uh, make sure to subscribe. But as you know, uh, I'll, I'll, I usually take this a little bit easier. What we'll just do is we'll go over all of the pre-sales or ICOs, IDOs, uh, like this first one is an IDO. Uh, we'll talk about uh, about the IDO, so what's going on, what is the project, then we will really talk about what the project is, and then we'll talk about whether I think it would be a good buy or not. So let's get right into it. The first one is Pine Protocol, where the token sale is set for the 6th of February 2023. Now, as you can see, uh, Pine Protocol has already had a lot of investments from big venture capitals. Um, but even though its market cap is going to open very low, all right? So, so that's interesting, I think. Then what is the project? Well, Pine Protocol is a, a lending and borrowing protocol, all right? But there's a twist. It's, it's, it's different from other crypto projects. And in my, I, I don't actually know of any projects that do this. Uh, I don't think there are any, but if, if there are any, they are not as well funded as Pine Protocol is. Uh, you can actually put up your nfts from from a lot of the nfts collect uh, nft collections as collateral and based on that you can borrow real crypto or, or real money real blockchain money at least um so that's pine protocol so very interesting i think it's, it's definitely one that i'm going to watch now whether i think should, you, you should buy it or not that's a different uh, different question first of all um the tokenomics are all right. I checked them out. I, I cannot easily find them right now. But usually when there are a lot of funds, all of these funds bought for lower prices than we, all right? So there's probably going to be some sort of a lock up, um, but at some point they will sell. So there's always going to be in the future for Pine, which is uh, the name of the token, uh, there's going to be selling pressure, all right? Apart from that, I mean, I gotta say, it's an amazing project for the long term. But I would suggest not participating in the IDO because, and that's another thing, it's listed on impossible finance. That's where the IDO is. Right now, the average ROI on impossible finance, even though they have some good ones as well, but on, on, in general, in average, the prices of the cryptos that have an IDO at impossible finance usually go down. And that's why I think Pine Protocol is definitely a project to, to keep on your watch list. But I would suggest, uh, and that's what I'm doing. I mean, it's it's in the end, it's your it's it's your choice. But uh, I would stay out of this IDO and just keep it on your watch list and, and invest at lower prices. But that's my take on that. Obviously, that's not financial advice. I, I have to say that. Um, but uh, definitely a, a great project to put on your watch list. Very unique, has some real utility and some real backing. Now the second project is Crypt View, a, a project that I like a lot. It's very small. Not a lot of people know about this with a KVT token, All right? This is set for March, 2023. It's not on crypto rank. On crypto rank, you can see that they had some funding rounds, but it's a, a very new project, all right? So I can also not guarantee that this will be March, 2023, but that is what they had uh, in, in mind. And it still says that on their website, all right? But I have to be honest, even though I really like the idea of the product and the project, it doesn't seem to be that active. It's definitely not that. It's still being developed, but it, it, it could be more active. And probably they are, they, are, they, are, they are struggling with this bear market and everything that it brings with it. Uh, tokenomics are great, I think. A lot goes to the sale, not a lot to the advisors and team, which, I mean, obviously they deserve something, but um, I... Uh, I think they don't uh, they don't deserve 20%, which which a lot of crypto projects do have it. They don't. I think the tokenomics are great. So what is CryptView? Uh, CryptView is if we go to to the app, which um, well, why can I not see that? This this actually brings you to the uh, to the real application. It's a structured peer-to-peer -peer research to earn protocol. All right, so basically what it is, is you have a community on CryptView. There are very positive network effects because the more people that use it, 
what it actually does is it, it provides a rating on different cryptos. Now, obviously, the big cryptos, we already know whether we like it or not or and, and whether they are they're good or not. But they also have some smaller cryptos. And what you can then see is that, for example, if, if you press Steppen, is that the ratings of a different uh, of, of a specific crypto are given by the community and are given on uh, specific things regarding the project. All right. So it's actually uh, the, 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 the strength is rated from junk to strong on different aspects of the project. And if a lot of people do this, what you get is, is, is a real rating uh, and at least some some research on projects you might want to invest in. So I think that's very valuable. I think that's very valuable for next bull run if a lot of people use this because it will allow people who want to uh, invest and research cryptos to have another uh, platform they can use to actually gain an edge and, and to get some knowledge on specific cryptos. So I think Cryptview itself, the, the, the platform and the, the project, the idea is amazing. I like it a lot. Uh, now the KVT token, the thing is, is that even though I like it a lot here, you can also see what you can rate it on. Uh, same thing, but I just showed you. Uh, the thing is, is that as I said, it's it's going a little bit slow with them, all right? And we have to be honest about that. Uh, and uh, I'm, I'm not sure where I can still see that. I think here on home, what you can see, um, really an amazing project, I think. But uh, what you can see right here, the KVT token itself, it, it's a reward because by participating on the platform, you actually get KFT as a reward. Um, it is uh, it's 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 re it's required to access advanced data, so it has some real utility. Um, the thing though is, is that as, as I said, it's it's not that active. This is a very old roadmap, and here they said Q1, 2023, the KVT public sale. All right, so even though I still hope this to be in the quarter one, I think it's going to be a little bit later. All right, but that's crypto. That's the second crypto. Last crypto is Fight Out, which I already have a video on. If you want to check that out, make sure to type in Fight Out Linux Crypto. I'm not going to blatantly advertise it right now, uh, but this is a pre sale. All right, you can buy this, and I will put all the links down in the description, but you can buy this at fightout.com. And basically, what it is, it's a new type of a move to earn. They have their own application, but they are striving to build an entire ecosystem around Fight Out. Uh, including opening their own gyms. So right now you can claim up to a 50% pre-sale bonus. Uh, it's still stage one, all right? So the, the, it's only 5 million in dollars can be bought. Uh, and, and you can buy it on their website with USDT and I believe BNB, but I'm not sure about that. Um, no, with Ethereum. With Ethereum or USDT, you can buy it here. Uh, it's fully audited. Uh, the team is also verified. You can read the white paper here, but like I said, it's it's a new move to earn. Move to earn is, uh, as, as most of you know, a growing industry in crypto. Uh, but this is more focused around workouts and uh, and it also has some ambas uh, ambassadors in, in sports. So it really is focused around sports. It's also backed by some uh, some major funds like L Bank Labs. Uh, so definitely one to, to, to watch out for. Would I advise you to buy this when the pre-sale ends? Um, even though I really like the project, I think it's better to wait it out. I think it's better to wait for when the project and the token actually gets listed on, on the central exchange, because in the end, this is a bear market. Most tokens drop down. And I think their token, the, v, the FGHT, FIGHT token, is also going to drop down. But these projects, I would all definitely recommend you to put them on your watch list. Amazing projects and uh, really cool ideas, I think. Obviously with cryptos, it, it, it also always, uh, depends on the implementation and, and how they actually fulfill their promises. But initially, these three projects for quarter one are definitely to watch. So that's my take uh, and that's my video for now. If you do have any questions, let me know down in the comments. But for now, take care and bye.